Brad Nessler. With me as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We've got rainy conditions today for our game with the Ole Miss Rebels and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here comes the Crimson Tide. The Crimson Tide expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Alabama looks to unveil their high-powered offense. A guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. I got to have to go with them, too. I'm taking Bama. Roll Tide. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Coach. Now let's take it down to the head referee at midfield. Lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Decent kick. Number 40, fields it at the 9. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Today we get to watch a spectacular athletic running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, Defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game today. That makes two of us then. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Second down and nine to go. from the shotgun. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. The Rebels go with the eye formation. Rose, he's right there for the interception. He threw that thing into heavy cover. Yeah, he did. The quarterback was gambling on that pass. However, he lost. As a coach, you got to do some different things to keep that defense guessing out there. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Play action. Looking down the middle. Complete. Brought down at the 17. Nice play there to pick up the first down. Kirk, that was quite an acrobatic catch. They don't get much better than that. No doubt. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the ball. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Looking to throw. Looks down the middle. He brings it down. Touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking 
as he is at catching the football. They're going to flag the celebration there. And they're lining up for the PAT. down and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Ten more penalty for the deep drop. All you need is one. Send out the kick team. Now they'll try to tack on the extra point. He makes the PAT with less than four minutes to go in the first to score. Alabama, seven, Ole Miss, nothing. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Number 40 and number five, keep to return. He kicks it off. Number 40 takes it from the six. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. They'll set up shot at the 30-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Oh, great hit. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. First and 10. Ball on their own 40. The Rebels come out in the ace formation. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number six, the lone back. They hand it off again. Tries to juke. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. Number six picks up about seven yards on the run. From their own 47-yard line. It's third down. The Rebels line up in an eye formation. Another run. Jets that one. Tackle at the 49. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 36 is waiting for the snap. Hangs it up high. Calls for the fair catch. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They'll start this drive at the 21. First and 10. High formation here. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. As a coach, you got to do some different things to keep second that defense ten. guessing out Ball there. The so it's second and ten. Ball on the 21. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He drops back. Looking. Throws it out there. 
and it's the senior. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Here's third down, four yards to go. Ball on their own 27. The tie, come out the shotgun. They'll bring him down at the 29. He'll be stopped just short of the first down. Oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Now will he throw or scramble for the first? He throws it incomplete. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. And they've got the momentum now. Now let's see if they can put the ball in the end zone. The Rebels come out showing three wide. Gives it off. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Number six picks up two yards with the carry. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. They're in the eye. The halfback with a carry. And down he goes at the 27. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. It's third and eight. Ole Miss comes out of the shotgun. Got hit as he threw, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He just couldn't connect with the wide receiver there. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. This one is from about 44 yards away. He gets it up. And it is good. He looked pretty good kicking the ball there. Yep, the kicker did a good job of keeping his head down and striking the ball right between the goal posts for a long field goal. Ole Miss is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. Number nine takes it to 14. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. The offense will start at the 35-yard line. Drops back to pass. Looking. Slings it. The ball is tipped. The defender had it and then dropped it. Boy, that was a good defensive effort there. The ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to it. Nice play. That'll bring up second down. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Alabama comes to the line with three wide. He's looking to pass. Throws it. Complete. What a catch. Tackle at the 44. Number 83 is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened down there on the field. I hope this kid can get back in the game, though. If you're not excited about playing football, then you should be on the sideline watching. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. High formation here. Back to pass. Let's it fly. Has it to the senior. He's tackled at the 29. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. First down. The defense sets up in the nickel. Setting up the play action. He's looking. Throws a ball. Finds his receiver. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown. 
Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. And that one's fallen incomplete. He was facing a mad rush when he threw that ball into the end zone. They came after him, sweetheart, big time. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not turning the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. Number 38 is the single setback. Look at the throw. He looks, throws this one out to the left. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh -uh. No way. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. And he hits the PAT. The down is just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Alabama 14, Ole Miss 3. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. Number 40 and number five back ready to return. Decent kick. Number 40 fields it at the nine. He juice. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll go to work at the 32. The Rebels go with the I formation. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Alabama 14, Old Miss 3. Second and 11 coming up, ball in the 31. The Rebel line up in an I formation. With the spin. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. They came with a blitz that time and got to the tailback for the loss. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 28. He's backfield. Wants to throw outside into traffic and it's picked off. And that was their second interception of the game. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. This defense is in the dime. Fakes to the back. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. Watch it all. Going deep. Number 81 was the intended target on the play. So that will make it second down. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. So go get it done. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Alabama lines up with three receivers. Looks to pass. Looking. 
steps up in the pocket. Number 14 with a bullet over the middle. Loose football. It's picked up by the defense. And that fumble recovery may give this defense the spark they needed. You're right. This could be a huge swing in momentum. First down. Number 25 lines up in the deep back. High formation. First down. Look at the throw. He delivers. Incomplete pass. The receiver didn't have a chance on that one. From their own 21-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. They hand it off. And he's tackled at the 21. No gain. No gain on the play. They line up at the 21. We've got third and 10. Number 19 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Here comes some pressure, and they got it. Chalk one up for the linebacker. It's hard to pick up this blitz because you never know where these guys are coming from. You know, that's why I consider the offensive linemen some of the smartest people in the football field. And it didn't look like it on that play. The Rebels line up the punt. Number 36 awaits the snap. He gets it away. Number 22 fields it for 48. He couldn't shake anybody. He needs to go work out those legs a little bit. Yeah, Coach, you're right. Pretty good return. But if he could have broken that last tackle, that might have been big. Play action. Looks. Let's it fly. It's tipped. That close to being intercepted. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. That'll bring up second down. The Tide are lining up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. And he pulls it down. Tackle at the 27-yard line. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Walking the pass. Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Now he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown. Number 38 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Looking, guns it to the end zone. Incomplete pass. Oh, you got to hit the open man. That's a painful incompletion for the offensive coordinator to watch. And we take a quick look at the stats from inside the 20-yard line. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Experience is everything. Give to the tailback. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Number 38 lines up in the deep back. High formation. Look. It is he throws. He came down with it. Touchdown. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. The other passing game is clicking on all cylinders right now. The defense just hasn't been able to figure out how to stop this passing attack. Well, they better figure something out pretty quick. But this quarterback's going to end up having a career day on these guys. Just kick the extra point, sweetheart. They line up for the extra point. Yeah. 
And he converts the extra point. So under three minutes to go in the second quarter. And the score, Alabama, 21. Old Miss, three. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 40 fields it at the 11. At the 30. Sheds that one. At the 40. That return should help the offense out. No, this kid is a sensational kick returner. He did a perfect job of reading his blocks on that kick return. Almost perfect. Hey, that's what I said. Almost perfect. They come out with a big set. Bates to the back. Wants to throw outside. Got it to him on the run. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk. Good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. Ends it off. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. Number six gets three yards on the play. They line up at the 40. Second and seven coming up here. They're in the eye. The 10. Touchdown, Mississippi. The halfback out to carry and we that defense for a score. Well, he found some daylight and took off for six. And here's our Pontiac game-changing performance. They'll line up for the extra point. Adds the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Alabama 21, Old Miss 10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks off. Number 22 fields it at the 19. So they beat this defense up through the air on their last drive. Let's see if they can replicate that performance this time around. I take it to the ground on this one. You got to be able to run to win ball games. They'll set up shot at the 45-yard line. One man backfield. Back to pass. Looks. He steps up. He passes it. His receiver has it. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision making. From the 42-yard line, first down. The Rebels line up in a nickelback. He's looking. He throws. Brings it down. Great concentration. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Well, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what, that ball looks like a missile with laces. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Three wide outs here. Looking to throw. He looks. He darts it over the middle. He's got his tight end. Tackle made at the eight. And fellas, this is really turning into a very impressive drive. Three first downs and counting on this drive, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building some momentum here. And more importantly, they've kept this defense on the field. The pressure turns up when you're this close to the goal line. Let's take a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. The deodorant for the experienced man. Nice play fake. Throws! 
It's deflected. The safety got in there at the last minute. Well, that's a great job of preventing the score here. He got in great position and made a big-time play on the ball. There's only eight yards between the ball and the end zone. The tie. Line up with three wide. Looks. He's looking for his man. And it's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. And did that play ever develop nicely? It's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Just kick the extra point, sweetheart. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. He makes the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Alabama, 28, Old Miss, 10. Number 11 gets set to kick this one away. the kick number five fields it at the 13 the offense is back down the field after that last touchdown drive and let's see if they try to move the ball on the ground again they'll start at the 32 yard line first down look at the throw He's going right, and that one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Second and ten. Ball on the 32. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. What a collision! to go. Lunch formation. He drops back. Somehow gets the ball away. That's incomplete. Whoa. Hey, he just overthrew him that time. Yeah, he just missed his man. Good play call. Bad pass. Ole Miss, ready to put this one away. Number 22, the return man. He gets it off. Number 22, taking the 32. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. The offense will start at the 35-yard line. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Looking, feeling the pressure. The senior makes the catch. A gain of six. Alabama will take their first time out of the half. You gotta go out there and compete. Be a competitor. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. The tide. Go with the eye formation. Back to pass. He looks. He steps up. Number 14. Rifles it over the middle. 
can't wrap him up. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. You ask, so I'm telling you, run this play. First and 10. Ball on the 43. They come out in a nickel. They'll throw on first down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. We still have a half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Alabama 28, Ole Miss 10. Ole Miss got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 22 takes it to 15. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The tie. Line up in an eye formation. Looks. Throws it out there. It's tipped. Found his man. And he's brought down. He threw a bullet in there. Oh, he sure did. We've already talked about his arm strength. But what really impresses me are his mechanics. His passing motion is so fluid. A good running game will do wonders for your football team. It allows you to set the tempo of the game and gives your defense time to rest on the sidelines. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. They'll throw on first down. It falls incomplete. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Drops back to pass. Surveys the field. Number 14 throws it out there. And he's taken down at the 20. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. It's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. This is awfully close. As long as you don't make any mistakes, you can come away with some points. Preferably a touchdown. He's looking over the middle, and he's got him again. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. Number 83 looks to be a little slow getting up. Well, we know he wants to play, but that's not what you want to do when you're wobbling around. They call it the red zone when you're inside the opponent's 20-yard line. The pressure turns up when you're this close to the goal line. Let's take a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. The deodorant for the experienced man. Back to pass. He lets it go. Got it to the senior. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. The defense needs to tighten up on their coverage in this kid. Because whenever he gets some room on you, ah, 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 he makes a play. Good teams are the teams that can score touchdowns in the red zone. Let's see if this team is a good team. The Crimson Tide go with the eye formation. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Fires, and they'll score. How about that touchdown? Which one? I'm losing track of all those touchdowns. He can sure throw them in bunches, you guys. is one send out the kick team they'll line up for the point after and he converts the extra point so with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter the score is Alabama 35 Old Miss 10 Alabama ready to kick this one off
And this one's a short kick. Number 15 fields it at the 26. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. This drive will start at the 34-yard line. They line up in an eye. Little handoff. And they make the stop at the 35. Pickup of less than a yard on the play. They'll line up at the 35. Second and nine coming up here. The Rebel line up with two tight ends. Tries to shoot. And he's tackled at the 38. Three yard gain by the running back. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 38. Number six lines up as a single back. On play action. He's hit and got away. Wants to throw outside. And he's taken down. That play looked like it could have gone the distance. Let me tell you, they were very fortunate that that one wasn't taken in for the score. They had a guy coming on the push that time, and that quarterback read this play perfectly and ate him up. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33. Going with the shotgun here. Duke moves. He's tackled at the 30. Number 19 probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. Second down, seven yards to go. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Inside handoff. And he stopped behind the line. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. It's right. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So the toss gets stopped for a loss of two. It's fourth down. And they'll attempt the field goal. This one is from 50. It's up, and it's good. He had no problem splitting the uprights with that one, Kirk. Yeah, that one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Number 36, yet set to kick this one away. And it's off. Number 22, fields it at the 13. He breaks it. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman, get more pressure on that quarterback, please. Number 14, three wide receivers. He looks. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. Number 88 was the intended target. That'll make it second down. As a coach, you got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Alabama goes with the ace set here. He's looking to pass. Looking. Sack for a loss at the 17. It's a big down right here. You gotta throw in this situation. Third down. Number 14 is back in the gun. Looks. Rose. 
And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 81 was the intended receiver on that pass. And that'll make it fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Number 11 is waiting for the snap. Number 35, back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. Number 35, fields at the 38. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. We've got a first and 10. The Rebels come out in a bunch formation. And they make the stop at the 41. That'll be a gain of three yards. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 41. Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. The counter, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Nothing going on that one. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. That's incomplete. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 22 is back deep to return. He punts it. Number 22 takes this to 25. So they end up losing yardage on the punt return. Well, sometimes, Brad, when you try to make a big play like he did there, you end up hurting your team in the long run. to keep the defense honest by throwing in a good play action pass every now and then. First down. <laughs> he gets sacked on the play. I'll tell you what, nothing. Nothing is better than dominating the line of scrimmage and running right at that defense. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. He's looking. He passes it. And this one falls incomplete. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You gotta squeeze that ball. Then think about where you're gonna go. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 16. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Falling back as he throws. And that one's falling incomplete. Yo, that was a tough pass for him to hold on to. Yeah, but it wasn't the pass that was the problem. The hit is what jarred the ball loose. Hey, the quarterback is the one who left his wide receiver out to dry. You have to throw those passes in a place where the guy can protect himself. Number 11 awaits the snap. Number 11 punts it, and this is a wonderful kick. Number 35 fields it for 38. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 40. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. Laterals back, number 19. Fumbles, and the defense is on it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Now you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. They'll take over at the 38. First and 10. Number 38 is the single setback. Play action. Off balance throw. 
Incomplete pass. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So that'll make it second down. Number 38, alone in the backfield. Looks. He throws it. His receiver has it. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. I know I've said this all week, but I like this kid's arm. He's got good mechanics and a nice touch of the ball. He's not doing bad in this game either, my friend. Not bad is right, Lee. That last pass gives him over 300 yards on the day. So we've got one more quarter to play, and our score in this game is Alabama 35, Ole Miss 13. Let's see how well you can run this play. First, First and 10. ten. They're threatening inside the 20. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Gets the ball. Another pick. And he picks it off in the end zone. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Well, let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. This kid's got to stand there if he wants those passes completed to his team, not the other. The offense will start at the 20-yard line. Ole Miss goes with the ace set here. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the 22. Number six. Gains about two yards on the run. They line up at the 22. It's second down. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Across the middle. It's complete. He's all the way down to the 48. That was a pretty nice completion. Yeah, but it's still a three-possession game. That's a lot of ground to make up in the fourth quarter. I give him credit, though. This quarterback refuses to give up. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Bunch formation. Looks to pass. He delivers. Caught. Out of bounds at the 46. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. Second down, four yards to go. Ball on the 46. Ole Miss comes to the line with three wide. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Number six picks up two yards to carry. So that'll make it third down. It's third down and two to go. Number six lines up in the deep back, eye formation. He lets it go. Oh, great hit. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 24. Three wideouts here. They hand it off. 
They'll get him for a loss. Nice tackle in the backfield there. This guy just overpowered his blockers and drove down the ball carrier. He really showed his strength on that play. This guy has one of the highest bench presses on the team. Well, he's one of the heaviest guys on the team, too. I hope he's one of the strongest. Another run. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Number six picks up a yard on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Number 19 with three wide receivers. Ball is loose. Fumble. Number 92 recovers a loose ball. And the defense got on it quickly. That was a heck of a play by the big guy. Sure was, Kirk. It's not too often those big linemen get their hands on a football. Boy, is he excited. This play should work out very nicely. They'll start this drive at the 40-yard line. First and 10. Ole Miss brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. Number 14 guns it. Got him on the run. Oh, so close to breaking it. Boy, does this kid have an arm or what? Are you kidding me? It looks like he has a rocket launcher attached to his shoulder. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. Alabama lines up in a double tight set. He looks to throw on first down. Number 14, guns it over the middle. And that one's incomplete. Number 22 was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. In this situation, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football and just stay in bounds. It's second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. He drops back. Looks across the middle. Oh, great catch. And they make the stop at the 13. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Hold it. Only offense. He didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. From the 46-yard line, we've got a second and long. Number 38 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. Surveys the field. He rolls left. He unloads it. And he's got him again. And he's taken down at the 33. The quarterback just lasered that one down the field, coach. Yeah, the defender had no shot at breaking that pass up. This is a big play. You got to be aware of that first down marker. It's third down and seven to go. Number 38 finds up the single back. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Yo, don't give up any field position. Punt it away. The Crimson Tide are lining up to punt it away. Number 11 is waiting for the snap. He punts. No, he won't. The punter throws. That's incomplete. That didn't fool anyone at all. Kirk, let me tell you why that didn't work. This defense is wrong, coach, and they anticipated where the ball was going. They anticipated, and they also have a lot of team speed out there. And they saw the snap go to the up back. Everybody was forming with the ball. They'll go to work at the 36. The Rebel set up in the gun. Look at the throw. Throws in a hurry. It's deflected. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. 
Number 19 lines up with three receivers on his right. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. From their own 36-yard line, third down, 10 yards to go. Number six is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He gets the pass away, brought down at the 48-yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. To the ten. Touchdown. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for it, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdown. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Ole Miss lines up in a goal line set. And they won't get the two. They went for two, but they're stopped short. The defense just rolled up their sleeves and went in there and stopped them when they had to. Ole Miss has their hands team on the field for the onside kick. Here's the onside kick. I don't get this call at all. You gotta go for the onside kick here. There's nothing to lose. I agree with you, Lee. You've gotta give your team a chance to put points on the board. That's not a smart decision. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. He's looking. He throws. Got him on the run. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown time. That score puts this game out of reach. I'll tell you what, sweetheart. It's going to take an amazing comeback to win this game. But three scores is too much to overcome with this much time left. You know, they wanted to close this game out, and that's just what they did with that touchdown right there. And he converts the extra point. So it's just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Our score, Alabama 42, Old Miss 19. They line up to kick this one away. Kicks it away. Number five, builds it at the two. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. He's looking for his man. Interception off the deflection. This drive will start at the 44. Number 38 alone in the backfield. Looks, moves up in the pocket, lets it fly. Got it. He's all the way down to the 16-yard line. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. On the offense. It's about time they called him for holding. He's been holding on to jerseys all game. Scooter, these refs could probably call holding on every play if they wanted to. These guys get away with a lot. Yeah. 
Setting up play action. Let's it go. Incomplete. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. You got to play it safe here and keep running the football. From their own 46-yard line, it's second and long. Alabama sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. He looks. He passes it. Oh, great catch. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. With the lead, you don't want to do anything stupid. Just run between the tackles and kill some time off that clock. They line up in an eye. They'll throw for the first. Looking. Throws it. They can't connect. Incomplete. Whoa! That was a bullet. A bullet that landed incomplete. I don't care. That was some impressive arm strength. Alabama lining up the punt. Number 11 awaits the snap. Number 11 punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Number 9 calls for the fair catch. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. Ole Miss will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second and 13 coming up here. Number 19 comes to the line with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it with the throw. And this one falls incomplete. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third down. Third and about 13 yards. The Rebels come out in the ace formation. It falls incomplete. And that'll bring up a big fourth down. The defense held down the fourth there. It'll be interesting to see what they decide to do now on the offensive side of the ball. Punts the ball away. Number 22 fields it at the 42. He just got shut down on the punt return. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. The best formation is the victory formation. Is that the kicker on the field? Nah, something's wrong with your eyes. Wait, whoa! That is the kicker! It's a fake. Wants to throw outside. It's intercepted. He's got some blockers. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, any final thought? That'll do it for this broadcast of NCAA Football 2008. The final score in this one, Alabama 42, Old Miss 19. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet saying thanks and so long.